Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video. And today I've got a box. It's one of those boxes, you know, the subscription boxes. And uh, it's not a loot trade. It comes from our friends uh, from the world's finest, the collection. You know, the, the people who are doing all those boxes about DC Comics characters like Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman. And, and they have, as you know, this tendency to actually put Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman in absolutely everything. Oh, and the Justice League too. I mean, they, they, they do the Justice League as well. And as a matter of fact, surprise, surprise, it is a Justice League box. It's a, the, the box is very nice. I mean, they always have really fun uh, boxes, uh, which seems to be like Christmas themed because I, 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 I'm I, sure I see. Yes, I see. this looks like uh, a Santa and... Um, I have no clue what it's all about, uh, uh, but we're going to, to find out together. The interesting thing that there's a Superman logo on one side and that there is a Green Arrow logo. So that's a bit novel. So we're going to, to see. I mean, those boxes, uh, other than the fact that they tend to do only Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman and Justice League, uh, they usually have some very, very good stuff. So hopefully it's going to be the case here as well. So let's hope it yes and I, as i was suspecting when i was i was saying that it was a christmas theme box i mean if you see the inside of the box there is definitely a christmas theme so uh i suppose it means that the box is a bit light um so there is first this little postcard that we're not going to have a look at because that's why it says everything that's in the box so we don't want to do that and we're going to start with, with this um which is the little vinyl figure. It's interesting because uh, lately with those figures, they have gone to things like uh, uh, busts and, and headshots and stuff, and they had stopped doing the, the full uh, the full body uh, character. So we're going to, to see what this is like and they always make those quite complicated. Yeah, they went back to the original design that they were doing in which you had the character in a box with like a little uh, background. So so here is the figure and it is Supergirl. Uh, so that's, uh, sorry, it's a, bit, it's a bit light for once. I mean, uh, for one thing, in Scotland, we're get, getting a lot of sun. So, um, so it may not be uh, that great as a result. Uh, but here you go, that's, that's Supergirl. Uh, that's a nice uh, little figure. Uh, I, I'm not particularly a huge fan of it. I'm trying to show it to you. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's a nice little figure. I mean, it's not my thing. Um, I much prefer toys than uh, static figures, but it's a nice little vinyl figure. And this is much better than what they had been doing over the past uh, year or so, where it was like uh, not really uh, as interesting. So that's, that's a good start. Uh, not for me, but that's a very good start then what do we have we do have a few things which i think are really things so we do have something which says it's a crack tonight handbook uh, in which you have all the different the green k and the red k and the gold k the blue k and the white k i mean of course all of those kryptonites have a very very different effect on superman as we all know you have the blue that removes the powers completely no it's the gold one that removes the kryptonian superpowers uh, permanently so so we're going to see what this kryptonite kryptonite handbook is and oh my god it is krypton kryptonite and this is the kryptonite as you can see because you can already see that i'm going to try and charge it because of course it is glow in the dark you can see it glowing even though it's daylight so it must be quite big glow and uh it is actually a it's an ornament so it's a christmas ornament as i was saying that they were late 
uh, it's a bit late. It's, it's nice. I, I think it's really good fun. Uh, that's a fun item. It's a shame that they didn't send that early December so that uh, you could put it in uh, the Christmas tree. So, uh, but anyway, there's a Christmas coming in 2021. So hopefully it will be for next Christmas. Uh, what else do we have? We do have this and I have a feeling because of the it seems to be the holiday period. I'm, I have a feeling that those are Christmas cards, <coughs> which if it's a holiday greeting cards, that's what it says here. So, so once again, it's a bit late, but we do have envelopes here with a little DC logo. So that's actually quite nice. And we do have some uh, Christmas, well, holiday cards based on uh, basically uh, old comic book covers. I mean, those are comic books from the 50s and 60s. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I do like the, uh, the, the the covers that they've used. I think they're really cool. Uh, is there anything inside? No, it's basically empty. So you don't even have to use them for Christmas. But of course, because they are Christmas themed. Uh, I suppose you don't really have much of a choice, really, because you're not going to send a card with a Christmas tree for uh, Easter or for uh, uh, for a birthday. Uh, that would just wouldn't do, would it? Uh, but still, I mean, good fun. A bit late, but good fun. And then we do have some big items here, which I'm quite glad. Oh, we do have the the silicate gel. Pouch. Remember, they always put some of them. Remember, you're not supposed to eat them. Those are not candy or sweet or whatever you call that in your country. This is not good. So it goes in the bin. And then we do have this, which I have a feeling is going to be... It, it looks like a scarf. Uh, I, 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 I mean, you agree with me, it's probably a scarf, isn't it? Uh, so let's see if I can find it where is the opening tab activated. You always look at the wrong side of things. And so yes, it is. Uh, it definitely is a scarf. So we're going to open it and see. Uh, so it is a flash scarf. So you do have the flash logo. Uh, you do have the flash of all, uh, which is really cool, and you do have, and it's a, it's a nice little scarf. I mean, it, it's that time of the year, so it's actually quite useful to have a scarf. I've got many scarves like this, because I mean, a, a lot of subscription boxes like to do scarves, but that's actually a pretty cool scarf. And for once, it's not Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman, which is great, uh, even better. What else do we have? We do have this that I'm going to wait until last because I think it's probably the best uh, item in the lot. Oh, yeah, there's more stuff. There's plenty of things that are hidden. Then we do have holiday gift wrap. So I'm not going to open that, but this is literally gift wrap paper. And of course, it's all Christmas themed. So that's actually fun. Uh, a bit late. But I suppose we can use them later and for next Christmas. So, so here you go. That's fun. I mean, for me, I, I do find that, you know, it's like, okay, we, we already have two paper goods. Uh, I'm not keen on paper goods in subscription boxes because I always think they are the cheap way of doing things. But at least all our themes, so holiday cards, holiday wrapping paper. Uh, why not? But it, it, it's not really my, my thing. And, uh, but we're going to, let me see if there's anything else. I'll keep the, the last bit for one. This looks like it could be a blanket. I mean, they've done blankets in the past, so it wouldn't surprise me they were doing under the blanket, a blanket. That feels like a blanket. And uh, let's see. Yes, it is. Uh, it is a blanket. and. We're going to see. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's a blanket, and it's a, it's a bit stinky. I don't know fact. So basically, it is Batman, Superman, and it's it's big. I'm sorry. I'm trying to to make sure you can actually see it. It's Batman, Superman, and uh, Robin's 
skiing on the slope. So I'm just just trying to. That's that's the best I can do. I think yeah, that's really that's so that's actually quite cool. And it's a cover from World's Finest, I suppose. Yes, it is a cover from World's Finest. So that's very nice. Uh, they've had quite a few blankets in the past. This is not one of the thick one that they've done. They've done some plushy ones. This is more of a uh, very very thin one but still it's pretty good it's actually quite fun and then we've got the last bit which I, I kept for last because I think it's actually probably the best item and it's green so you know it's not going to be Batman Superman or Wonder Woman and it's actually from Green Arrow and it's a Green Arrow hoodie uh, so you go you've got the, the hood uh, which is darker it's so do two colors for this and you do have of course the green arrow logo here and is that yes there is in the back you do have a classic uh, green arrow uh, image so that's actually pretty cool it does have some pockets at the front which are different colors. a nice little uh, hoodie for green arrow so and then that's about it let me check that I didn't in case something is forgetting, uh, has been forgotten and something dropped out of the box, it can happen very rarely. And yeah, basically all of those are exclusive item as usual and that's that's about it. So, well, I'm not too keen on uh, the fact that everything is late. So, uh, the Kryptonite handbook with the Kryptonite uh, Christmas uh, decoration is a bit late. And the holiday cards are a bit late and the gift wrap is a bit late. That's a bit of a shame. But, having said that, uh, we do have a very nice scarf. I, I really think that scarf is really cool. And that's a great hoodie. So really, really nice hoodie. So I'm quite glad. I mean, I, I, I still wish they would change uh, things a bit and uh, have something else than Justice League, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Uh, and in a way, even though it's Justice League, it is a bit different because they shown a Supergirl and we've got the Green Arrow uh, hoodie and the Flash scarf so they're trying to make an effort I think they need to go in further you need to actually get other DC properties like the Legion of Superheroes the Juicy Society uh, John Constantine a Swamp Thing I mean there's so many many good characters the Doom Patrol so many good characters that it could use that are not associated to Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and that would be really great. Still, well, find us the collection, and that's the Justice League Holiday box. That was a very good box, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye!